to the count. This is the last exercise of chapter nine with classes, um, implementing inheritance and all this stuff. So if you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. We're gonna make sure everything is understood before we finish this last problem. So a cash processing company has a class and it's called account and it uses the following transactions. So these are the methods that are inside of it as well as the descriptions. Now account interacts with trans transaction objects and they may have the following methods, which include public int value. And we have a description of that right here. Now, there is some more that we need to do now. So the company wishes to create a slightly modified uh, modification to the account class, and it filters out zero value transactions. So this is our goal. We want to filter out zero value transactions. We can actually just paste this right here. This is our overall goal this is what we want to do so how do we do this well the first thing is to design a new class we're going to do that come down here it'll be public class and it wants us to call it filtered account and we should extend um, this is just because of you know how everything's working together it should extend account right because we want to make a slight modification to the account class so we want to extend account and we'll be inside of here for that. Our instances can be used in place of an account object. So we're basically going to be replacing any methods inside of here. It's going to include the exact behavior of not processing transactions with a value of zero. So we'll come back to that in a second. Just remember that. So specifically the new class should indicate that a zero value transaction was approved but it shouldn't call the process method in the account class to process it. So this is going to be some kind of if, else, else if kind of thing that we need to code. Our class should have a single constructor that accepts a parameter of type client and should include the following method right here. So we have public class filtered account extends account. Let's first start off by making comment for our fields. Let's make one for our constructor. And our constructor is going to just be public filtered accounts, the same name as our uh, actual class. We'll have this right here, and it said that we want a parameter type client. So we'll do clients, and we'll just do a lowercase client like this. We're going to want to pass this into our um, account class. So to do this, we are just going to do super because we extend account, and we just pass in client. So that's pretty simple right there. Um, and then we want zero value transactions. And we also want to keep uh, total transactions. So in our fields, we'll do private, always private. And we will have, let's see, zero value transactions. That should just be um, a double, because if we look at the description here, filtered out between 0.0, .0 and 100.0. So private, double, We'll do zero t for zero transactions and we'll do private int for our total because it's just going to be an integer so we'll just do uh, total t for total transactions and then inside of here we're going to set our this dot total t to be zero and we're going to set this dot total or actually sorry zero t to be zero and that should be it for our constructor before we take care of what it wants us to do inside of here, let's code this method right here, a public double percent filter. So inside of public double percent filter, we want to return the percent of transactions. So since it's percent, we'll have 100 being multiplied in the numerator, filtered out between 0, 0.0 and 100, return 0.0, .0 if no transactions are submitted. So that's pretty easy. Um, we'll have two different types of returns. The first one is if no transactions are submitted, that'll mean our total t should be equal to zero. So that should return 0, 0.0. And let me spell that correctly as return. Otherwise, if we don't have it just equal to zero, we want to return 100 times, and this should be a zero transaction because we want the percent of transactions filtered out on the top. So 0t divided by our total transactions, which is total t. And then we should be good to end that uh, function right there. 
Next, let's look at our uh, method that's going to be replacing this method inside of here, this public boolean process transaction T. So we can copy this and we're gonna be overwriting it down here. Inside of here, what we should be doing is, it tells us right here, right? So the class, the new class should indicate that a zero value transaction was approved, but not call the process method. So indicate that it is approved. We'll go into here. Well, first, we know that this is gonna be a transaction, right? So this is one transaction happening. So before we do anything, we'll do total T plus plus. And then inside of here, we want to test if, remember, the zero value transaction, if it's a zero value transaction, that means we're gonna have zero T equal to zero. If this is true, or actually, we can't, we can't define that from here. Sorry, that's important to note. We can't look at our current field uh, and, and define this right here. What we need to do is look at the value of our actual uh, transaction object. That's what's gonna define it. Whenever we have something passed in here, we're typically going to use that whenever we look at anything, whenever methods are inside of that. So if our value here, remember that's important, don't look at anything in here, if our value, so this should be t dot value. Remember value returns the value of transactions in pennies, could be negative, positive, or zero. And it should indicate, we want to indicate a zero value transaction. So if our value is equal to zero, what we're going to want to do here is first increment our zero transactions because we have a zero transaction taking place. And we want to return true here. Otherwise, we're just going to send it to our super where the method inside of our account class will handle it. So else we'll have a return of super dot, um, and then this should be process where we pass in our T. And that should be it for our else. That should close off our method and that should end our class. So this is what everything looks like so far. Uh, let me log in first and submit again. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below that we have a playlist full of more problems like this. And that's going to be it for our chapter nine filtered account. And I hope that helped.